2019 Australian Open champion Naomi Osaka's woes continue as for the second straight match in a row. She's been beaten by Kazakhstanian Yulia Putinseva 6-7, 2-6 in the first round of the Wimbledon Championships. I'll explain why this happened here on Grand Slam to this news today. Naomi started off the match the better player, breaking Putin Seva to go up 3-1. Naomi was aggressively consistent, was fairly patient, while still overpowering the 24-year-old. Yulia, however, stayed steady and was able to break Naomi, making a majority of her returns, challenging the Japanese woman and forcing her to hit that one extra ball. For the entirety of the first set, the two women would hold serve relatively comfortably, and in the tiebreaker, Naomi took an early 3-1 lead, playing how she needed to play, coming into the court, taking balls out of the air, but she went away from that while Putin Seva's slice and dice game style messed Naomi up, extracting more errors. Naomi would go on to win only one more point in this tiebreaker, losing it 4-7. The credit has to be given to Putin Seva though, as she upped her serving game as well as her returning game. In the second set, the story was much of the same, as Naomi started well though failing to break serve, while Yulia managed to comfortably hold serve. Osaka served strong, though not really hitting her spots, allowing for Yulia to punch the return back to draw Naomi into the court. At 2 all, Yulia got that initial break, held serve, then broke again at 4-2 to serve for the match. She did just that, closing the match out the way she wanted, with the low slice. I definitely believe Yulia's slice messed Naomi up, as she's more used to playing with pace. Instead of Naomi following it in and coming to the net, she stayed back and continued to struggle. She did it a couple of times and got the put away ball she needed, but her lack of net presence led to her demise. It's clear Naomi is not comfortable at the net and baiting her to come in was a smart strategy by Yulia. Lastly, the high loopy topspin shot severely challenged Naomi, especially when Yulia hit it off the return, as it seems to me that she struggles whenever the ball is out of her strike zone. All in all, Yulia played a very smart match and knew how to make her opponent uncomfortable. This is a very disappointing loss as I'm sure Osaka and everyone else thought her game would improve with the number one ranking not being next to her name. This is still not the case and she'll need to go back to the drawing board to get her game together if she wants a good chance of defending her US Open title come September. That's all for this match analysis. What are your thoughts of Naomi losing this match to Yulia Putin Seva? Do you think she'll be able to bounce back come US Open? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below and subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get notified whenever we post new content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you here next time on Grand Slam Tennis News today.